Hi YouTube, it's Nina the Truth Seeker. I am here with a long needed video. Uh, it's been quite a while so I thought I would do a little video of a couple things that I found today. I It would be overwhelming for me to do videos of everything that I pick because I pick something almost every day. Um, in our area of North Carolina we probably have um, 15 Goodwills alone and then at least that many independent or other sort of uh, thrift stores and then you know consignment shops and yard sales and flea markets and it's ridiculous how many places there are to pick so um, I have tons of inventory I probably don't need to shop again for the next year but you know that's the fun part so that's I do it <laughs> um, um, spending a lot of my profits on restocking inventory so I got lots of potential for money but um, let's start with a couple things here since we're staring at shoes I'll start with these shoes um, I went to a consignment shop that I a friends had told me about they were having some items that were 75 percent off so I got actually three pairs of shoes um, this pair is a Saks Fifth Avenue it still has a tag on the bottom um, they're leather made in Italy uh, the tag on the bottom says that at the outlet store they were $159. Um, having trouble focusing on that. $159, and the regular price was like $279, if I'm reading that correctly. So that's what you would have paid for them at Saks Fifth Avenue. I already have those listed for, I think, $30 or $39. Can't remember exactly what I put up. These I actually bought their. Um, Mila Paoli, pa Paoli made in Italy. Um, I bought those for myself. They were four bucks. And that came from a thrift store, not from the consignment shop. So the consignment shop was the black ones. These Indigos by Clark's, which are pretty good style. They're size nine, so they should do pretty well. I have them listed for $29.99 already. And then I bought these Coach um, High Tops someone will want these they're a size 8 in pretty decent condition just need some cleanup and that's about it I'm gonna dye those uh, um, shoelaces just stick them in a little 10% bleach solution clean up the whites on these shoes and we should be good to go so the three shoes this pair this pair and this pair that I got at the consignment shop were all 75% off Together with tax, I spent $21 and some change, so an average of about $7 per pair. I should be able to make at least $30 a pair, so turning $21 into $90, bucks, that's not too bad. Um, so at the same, it was actually Salvation Army that I got these shoes at. I also got a couple of kids' pairs of shoes. One are these little brickies. The Berkey's, Berkey stocks. They're like, you know, um, Crocs. Lots of tread on them. You know, kids don't wear their shoes out very easily. So I got those. Figured I could resell them. And then these little Trekkers by the North Face are also little kids' shoes. Figured you couldn't go wrong with two, these two uh, brands. So, again, Good tread on them, just a little clean up, and we should be good to go. These were $2.99. I believe the Berkeys were also $2.99. So, three bucks for a pair of shoes. Should be able to get, you know, somewhere between 10 and 20 bucks for those. Um, I bought this hat because it is a vintage hat. It. Sorry, I'm in my bathroom. It's my best lighting. So, if we look at the tag, that's clearly an old, new era hat. Um, this is actually a minor league baseball team called the Tides. I don't know where they're from. Hat's a bit dirty, so I'm going to have to do some cleanup on that. But you can see all the vintage features here. Um, look at how high. Let's see. Let me hold this up. If you haven't watched my video on how to tell a vintage versus a retro snapback, a vintage is actually an old one. A retro is one that's styled like an old one. So you can see how high those snaps are. That's um, one clue that it's pretty old. Then the second clue that it's pretty old is that the bill is gray. If it were green, it would also be indicative. 
and you can see eight rows of stitching, which is pretty common for New Era hats. And then if you look at the bill, it's, um, it's not rounded like the newer versions. It's kind of squared off. So that, that's the third thing you want to really look for. Okay, so i got to do some research on the tides and figure out where they were. Um, but it's a cool logo. Okay, so there's that hat. Um, that was 99 cents. I also got this pair of gloves, thin slate pair of gloves. Um, they're a size large. They were a dollar forty nine. Everything with thin slate, I think, is pretty good to pick up for that price. I may keep them for my hubby. Let's we'll see. Um, other stuff. I'll do the stuff that's hanging. These are women's clothes, which I rarely do. A black one that takes up your whole thing. This is a Chico's Travelers. And everything that I have put up of Chico's Travelers has sold. This is that polyester stuff that, you know, that you don't really ever want to wear, but it travels well, so people who are in business really like it. And this is just a plain crew neck long sleeve top. Um, it's a size zero, which is their smallest size, so we'll see how that does. This, obviously, bigger sizes sell better. Um, this is a marmot. It is a zip-up um, ski turtleneck, women's, size small. Marmot is a great brand, similar to Patagonia and the North Face, so if you ever find Marmot, um, pick that up. I know that Summer Sells also enjoys this brand, Living Up in the Mountains. This is a silk blouse by Adrian Papel. Um, it is silk, 100%, size 8. Adrian Papel is a very high-end brand. I should be able to get about 30 bucks for that shirt. Here is one that we all know and love. It is Brooks Brothers. It's a ladies. Um, there's a little pig or whatever it is, sheep. The sheep logo. It's a size 4. It's a little small, so it's this pink. I don't know whether to call that gingham or seersucker because um, it's kind of a little bit of both seersucker fabric but a gingham check and then it's got these nice metal but buttons that say Brooks Brothers on them I'm trying to focus here so that's pretty cool it is a small size but I think I'll do well with that I'm gonna put it up for auction probably starting at twelve dollars and eighty eight cents um, this is a Tahari sweater size medium um, it's a longer sweater so it's almost a sweater dress so it's you know below the waist covers the tush um, I think I'm going to wait a little bit to list this one till it's a little cooler weather, maybe in September. This is a Patagonia. It is a women's Patagonia. It is a size small. Um, I thought I'd check this over when I was in the store, but I have found, when I ironed it, um, a couple of holes. One, let's see if I can find it right there, which I might be able to mend enough that it doesn't show. Um, I have mended lots of stuff. I actually mended a pair of shoes today where the stitching had come out. I just went to the store and bought something. There's another little pick in it. Um, that's a catch. I don't know if it's cut all the way through, but it looks like it is. But I think that I can mend that. Um, I sew, I weave, I knit, so I think I could be clever enough to fix that up so that it's not so bad. If I state that there's been some repair and then show it and show that it looks pretty decent, I think I can get a decent price for this. So, Patagonia, always a good brand to get. Um, here's a Lauren, Ralph Lauren green label. This is a 2X. It is 100% linen. Um, it's black, so hard to pick up on the pictures, but it does have the Ralph Lauren, Lauren, Ralph Lauren um, signature on the pocket. This one also has the feature of uh, being able to, you know, it's got the tabs for rolling up the sleeves. Um, just a really nice quality shirt. And then, um, starting with the, oh yeah, starting with the men's shirts. This is an ex officio. It is a vintage shirt. It's kind of cool. It's got the little logo here in the pocket of the world, uh, fishing, fisherman's world, I guess. Um, it is a pearl snap shirt. I mean, they're not pearls, but it's a snap shirt. Um, short sleeved. It's a size large. Let me turn it over and show you. Sorry about that. Oh, I don't have one of those. 
Um, this is vented, so it should do pretty well. I just sold a new Tags one that I bought for five bucks for thirty-three dollars. Here is another marmot. This is a men's sweater. It has been dry cleaned. Um, it's a size large. It's hundred percent wool. Again, it's black, but it's got the marmot logo embroidered into it. It's really soft. Um, it's got zippered pockets. It's in really good shape, minus one little flaw, which I'm going to try and show you right there. Can you see that? A little hole in, in, in the sleeve. Again, I think I'm going to be able to... I mean, it's such a nice quality sweater that I think if I can close that hole up and just state that it's there, I think I'll do okay with that. A um, couple of other things. How are we doing on time? Doing okay. So, I, getting ready for uh, ugly sweater season, I have been thinking about the idea of actually putting together ugly outfits. So, people need something to wear under their, um, their ugly sweater. So, I've been picking up ugly turtlenecks. This one has snowmen that are skiing and little snowflakes all over it. Ha ha, there you go. And then this one has cardinals holding little holly leaves and decorating their little bird houses. So someone will want to wear one of these under their ugly sweater. Okay, let's get on to some men's clothes. Um, I got three Orvis shirts. Sorry that they're not on hangers. There's the Orvis logo. They are all flannel. This one is a two-tone blue houndstooth. This one is a plaid, and this one is a gray and blue houndstooth check. Um, they are all extra larges, long sleeved. I'm going to lot these together. They were $2.79 a piece. I'm lotting them together for about 50 bucks. I think that will be the best way to sell those. Here's a brand that we all know and love although it has definitely been selling a little slowly. I have two up for sale right now. One that's just like this one. Um, this is a Territory Ahead. This one's kind of a blue-gray, kind of a slate blue um, with pink and, uh, or, you know, kind of fuchsia and turquoise um, checks. So I have one like this up that is orange that has a watcher and had a question today. I've had it up. This is my second 30-day cycle on that shirt. Um, and I also put up a short sleeve one a couple weeks ago, and those both have watchers on them. So I'll probably put this one up. I also have one like this in light blue. Um, and I have a few more like sweaters and stuff that I've kind of been waiting for cooler weather because I want to get top dollar for them. Um, this shirt, this next one I'm going to show you, is actually a women's, although it was hidden amongst the men's. This is another Lauren, Ralph Lauren shirt. It is a 2X as well, and it's 100% linen. Probably belonged to the same woman who owned the black one that I just showed you. Um, so, uh, it's got a broken button on the, on the, on the pocket, so I need to do a little mending on that one before I put it up for auction. And then, finally, this Gap. Everybody knows what the Gap logo looks like. It's a large denim jacket. Um, paid five bucks for this. Uh, should do maybe around 20 25 for that. So, there's a haul video for you guys. Hope that helps you um, see what I do to, to find stuff. Consignment shops, thrift stores. Um, and that's where I got all this stuff today. I spent a total of about $80. I should be able to rake in at least five or 600 off of all this. So um, I think that's a pretty good haul. All right, I'm going to sign off and get to work. See you guys soon. This is Nina the Truth Seeker. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Um, like it, comment, and come back and visit. See you later.